fried rice and marinara. Yeah. Young Mikey Yam danced to his front door. Mom, do you know I'm about to turn four? All of my friends will come over and play. Then piles of presents will fill our driveway. We'll have a huge cake, mm. and my buddies will say, your party was perfect. Hip, hip, hooray! Mikey's mom smiled as he finished his speech. Your plan is fantastic, my sweet little peach. But no celebration is ever complete until you've decided what you want to eat. Her statement stopped him dead in his tracks. <gasps> Food, of course! Every party needs snacks! Hmm. Well, pizza is something that everyone loves. But tacos fit in your hand like a glove. Burgers and hot dogs are easy to eat, but pork and fried rice is such a nice treat. He needed a guru, a trusted grub guide. Maybe my grannies can help me decide. Mm -hmm. What food did you have for your birthday, Babu? In Hong Kong, Chinese food is all that we knew. Huh. Nona, do you know what food you would choose? My roots are Italian, so pasta can't lose. Oh. Chinese or Italian, both are delicious. He remembered his cousin's birthday dishes. For the twins, rice and spice on their special day. While Joe had lasagna, he ate a whole tray. Yum, 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 yum. Mikey was stuck, not sure what to do. He couldn't decide between the two. Hmm. Um, ravioli or dumplings? Linguini or lo mein? Mm. All of these mm. options were hurting his brain. Focaccia, burrata, caprese, risotto, dim sum or wontons, or noodles and shrimp roe. Uh, which one, which one? His mind was a jumble of possible choices. He heard both sides of his family's voices. <sighs> he rushed to the park to get out of his head. His best friend, Sophia, found him and said, Are you okay, Mikey? Why so much sorrow? I can't pick a dish, and my party's tomorrow. Your mom is Italian, your dad is Chinese. You're free to choose food as unique as you please. Why not have both? Is that too outrageous? A Chinese-Italian mashup for the ages. <gasps> yeah! Sophia, that's it. I don't have to choose one. <gasps> he bolted straight home. There was lots to get done. Uh -huh. Mikey burst in the kitchen. I'm ready to pick. I've made my decision. This isn't a trick. I want fried rice and marinara sauce. That'll be different, but hey, you're the boss. <gasps> he awoke the next day in a jittery mood. Friends were arriving. Will they like the food? Mikey's mom fried up a wok full of rice. In went the veggies, two eggs, and some spice. 
His friends helped give the tomatoes a squish. They drizzled the sauce mm -hmm. to complete the new dish. Mikey tensed up as his friends took a taste. But the fusion of flavors lit up every face. Despite any doubts, the meal couldn't be beat. The fried rice was savory, the marinara sweet. It tasted more scrumptious than they thought it could. The whole party shouted out, Different is good! If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid safe, ad free library full of storybooks brought to life. Ask your grown up and start exploring more fun stories like these. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Vooks app for free today.